On many streets of Gadsden County are sour reminders that continue to linger from Hurricane Michael. Michael came to visit with less than one month until the general election, and when the elections office got word, red flags quickly went up. In preparation, make sure all our voting equipment was secured, um, our servers were secured and off the floor. Uh, we was prepared for that, and we did all our backups, and then we went home to be safe. Supervisor of Elections Shirley Knight says that Michael left attributes of voting in disarray, but persistence got them back on track. We was um, trying to get our absentee ballots, trying to receive absentee ballots, um, voter requests, you know, voter registration. We had to finish that up and we had stacks of absentee requests. Soon after Michael, turnout for early voting was at a slower pace, but increased daily to more than half compared to the previous midterm. Majority residents like Marvin Johnson, it was all about getting the power back on. And once that was figured out, hopefully uh, everybody like myself can vote. And even though residents of Gadsden County are still recovering from Hurricane Michael, it didn't stop many from footing their way to their designated precincts to let their voices be heard. In Gadsden County, I'm Bria Wesley for the 2018 Election Night Special, News 20.